Getting in on the ground floor of some of these big NFT gaming project tokens can net huge profits. This is something that we all know here in the cryptocurrency space is not the easiest thing to do. It requires a ton of research and in-depth looking at a project. But today I'm going to show you a project that does that for you and is, works as an actual launch pad for popular NFT games, helping you as a retail investor get on board with these early, early gains. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about a launch pad for NFT game tokens and games in general that helps retail investors uh, learn more about these uh, projects that are upcoming, do the research to help you understand why it is a great project and invest in them early before they get to these stages of, of you know, whales buying up all the tokens and soaking up all the profits. It's the retail investor that gets left out of this stuff. If you're not an accredited investor in the United States, maybe you know what I'm talking about. It can be rough when you know there's a good uh, deal to be had and you just can't get access to it. Today we're talking about Seedify and how they're helping to grow the NFT gaming ecosystem. But before we get into all that, if you're a, a fan of gaming, NFTs, and earning money in crypto, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button. And you can turn on bells too. Turn the notifications on. Turn all the things on. Uh, that way you can continue to maximize your gaming and NFT profits with me and the community of stashers. Uh, that we have here going on. We're all very supportive. Join the Discord. Jump in Discord with us and hang out and learn more about NFT gaming and playing to earn. So uh, let's go take a look at Seedify because this is a pretty interesting project. They've helped to incubate uh, quite a few popular games, games we've talked about here on the channel already quite a few times. Uh, my buddy Zuljan's also a big fan of Seedify. And so uh, we want I want to give you guys a little bit of an overview of exactly what this company does and how you can get involved in the ground floor of some of these brand new NFT gaming projects. All right, so here we are at the Cedify website. And uh, as they say here, you know, uh, entering the gateway of blockchain gaming, that's what you basically can do with this. So, uh, you know, what they've done here is they've, uh, you know, created a multi chain launch pad and incubator for NFT games. And uh, they've, uh, they've actually already done quite a few different games. You may know they have a bunch of upcoming ones we'll talk about here in a second, but um, uh, games like Dafina, uh, Crypto Blades Kingdom, right? That's a pretty big one there. Uh, also, Forest Knight, which is a game that we've also featured uh, recently, and the Night Token has been doing great. Uh, Snook is another one. I haven't got over to Snook uh, as an actual game uh, review, but uh, done very well with Snook as well. So there's been a, quite a few successful sales here, and you can see the amount of, of uh, you know, rays they've, they've done for each one of these uh, these different projects, which can be pretty uh, pretty beefy. Monsters Clan uh, did quite a bit here, uh, almost a little bit over a quarter of a million dollars. So uh, pretty interesting that, that they've worked with some of these really cool projects, and they have a couple of, of products that are upcoming as well. Uh, Hero Arena uh, here is, is happening in just about a day, uh, and they have a couple other ones uh, as well. So... Um, you know, what, what they're kind of uh, do right now is, is, is evolving as they go. So right now they focus mostly on NFT gaming tokens, but they're actually also going to be launching a Cedify game studios where they're actually going to be, uh, you know, helping to produce these games and, and, uh, and then also looking at, uh, doing launch pad for NFTs of the games themselves, not just the tokens. So you'll be able to have launch pads and IGOs or, uh, 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 you know, for, for the actual NFTs, right? Initial game offerings. That's what IGO stands for. And if you guys are not familiar with what a launch pad actually really is, uh, a launch pad is a way for, uh, you know, a retail investor to get early access to a token before it goes live on like a DEX or on, or on an exchange, right? So you're getting these initial offerings uh, through this company and they do, uh, they, you know, so, so, so they, they kind of, you know, help to, to put a spotlight on these things so you can, so you can get access early, right? Early access is always going to net the most amount of profits, but you need to be confident about it. You need to be confident that these projects you're getting access to are 100% legit. They're researched well, and they're not going to rug pull because that's a huge thing. And that's something that does happen quite here often here in crypto. I get hit up all the time by games that look scammy and it probably are, uh, you know, and I turn down most of the people who offer uh, that, that want me to cover their, their project because 
They, they just don't have that level of professionalism that I'm looking for in a game that I want to cover. So, so that's what Cedify does here with their launch pad. Now, you do need to take note that to, uh, to actually participate in an IGO here or an IDO here through Cedify, uh, you do need to KYC on their platform. Now, the, uh, now that, that aside, it is a little bit harder for U.S. investors to get on board with Cedify because of the securities laws here in the United States. Once again, they don't want us getting access to these things. They want to leave it for the big fish, the people who already have millions of dollars. They're like, hey, here, sure, you want another easy opportunity for 100x? Yeah, we're only going to give it to, give it to the whales. Now, Cedify tries to help with that. Uh, but if you're a US, U.S. investor, you'll need to have something like a foreign LLC that you can use to invest in something like, uh, you know, an IGO on Cedify. So that's that's one the one downside there. But if you're outside the United States, uh, all you have to do is KYC in the platform and uh, and you're and you're good. You're good to go. Now, uh, you know, Cedify does have their own native token called S Fund, and this is actually important for the ecosystem. So if you are an investor for Cedify and you want to invest in the latest IGOs, you do need to hold a certain amount of S Fund. And they actually have a tiered system for this, right? So they have a tiered system for uh, depending on how much Cedify you own or how much S Fund you own on Cedify, that's how much access you get to that particular IGO. So uh, it does scale up and they're starting at 250 S Fund. Uh, and going up and giving you more and more access to uh, the, the amount of tokens on these IGOs. And so, like I said, the good thing about Cedify is they do all the research and analysis for you. You know, they want to launch quality projects. They're doing the research. They're going in depth into these projects. They're looking at the team. They're looking at the tokenomics. They're looking at the long term roadmap. All these things that we talk about, they're looking at the community, right? These are all things we talk about. Like when you're looking for a good project, what do you need to do to, to, to find a good project, to evaluate a good project? Well, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. And Cedify helps to take out some of that mystery for you. Uh, and so you can see some of the projects they've already done are very high quality. Uh, so that's something you have to take in consideration for, for you know, does it make sense? You know, holding S fund, uh, the token itself has already gone up uh, in some pretty decent value. So if we look at that here over the last, uh, you know, 90 days, it went from like 60 something cents. Now it's up to about uh, a little over $5 just in the last, uh, just in the last week, it's gone up uh, almost $2 uh, in just the last week. Yeah. So uh, S fund as a token is doing really well. So holding the token in general, get you access to the IGOs and is also, uh, you know, appreciating at a pretty good value, I would say. So uh, pretty good to see that uh, here reaching some of these all time highs that we're, that we're uh, getting to. Uh, and you can grab S fund on uh, KuCoin or on PancakeSwap, both uh, easy to grab there. Uh, but having that is necessary if you want to participate here in IGOs in the future and when they start doing uh, initial NFT offerings. So INOs, right? INOs as well are going to be coming to the platform and maybe even incubating their own games, right, For the, through their gaming studio. So definitely a really cool platform to check out and uh, gives you an idea of what's possible, what's out there, and, uh, you know, what you might want to be looking at as an investment. So if you want to get in early, definitely check out Cedify and what they're doing. You can check out uh, more information on, on their uh, social channels. I'll put a link down below here so you can check out the website. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Have, have you heard of S Fund? Do you already have some in your wallet? Are you going to grab it because you think this is something great? Uh, are you pissed because you're a U.S. resident and it's hard for you to get on board? I want to hear your thoughts below in the comments. Let me know. Let me know. That's all we have for today, folks. Till next time, stash that crypto, friends.